In this Wix website builder tutorial, let's take a look at how to manage your pages of your Wix website. So sometimes when you're looking at your site in the editor, it can be a little overwhelming seeing it full screen with all the elements scaled to the edges of your screen. So it can be easier sometimes to look at your uh, website in 50% zoom. So in the upper right, we see the zoom option here. We click it and we can actually zoom out a little bit on our site and we can kind of hover over different sections. But then to manage pages, there's two things you can do. Number one, you can navigate to your pages to edit them. And then you can also manage your pages and menu in the pages and menu section. So to navigate to different pages, in the upper left here, we have the page drop down, and it shows which page we're on. And we can go to any of these different pages here. And so we could go to the about section just by clicking on about, and it's going to navigate us to the about section. And while it navigates, it's going to keep it in that 50% zoom. So you can really see the different sections of your page. It just can be a little bit easier to zoom out on your website and to be able to see how everything lines up together. Now, once we go into pages and menu, it's going to zoom back in. But if you want to stay zoomed out and sort of navigate around, you can do that here. Now you can also go to manage pages down here at the bottom. And that's basically going to pull open this menu item right here, which is site pages and menu. And you have your site menu, which is your navigation here at the top of your website. And then if you have something else like a portfolio or store, you're probably going to see those type of pages over here as well. So you can go into each of those and edit those. You might have some different ones for your Wix website. But then on the site menu, these are like our basic pages, like our home page or our about page or any other page that you have on your site. And so within these pages, you can select them. It will navigate to them out here, but also you have uh, the ability to adjust this because this is also your menu. And so you could click on your home page and drag it below portraits and you'll see up here in the menu area, uh, home is now on the other side of portraits. So from top to bottom, this is your site menu structure as well. And that includes the ability to tuck things into each other. So maybe I want home to be underneath portraits or uh, contact to be underneath about. And you can see how I can drag these things to the right and left to actually put them underneath. So now contact is underneath commissions. And so it's, it would be almost like a drop down out here. And I would probably have to preview my site to really see that drop down. So now you can see when I hover over commissions, I have a drop down down to contact. And so we're going to go back to the editor and we're going to come over here and pull open pages and menu again. So we can drag these pages around in and out of each other and nest them in to create drop down menus. And you can also edit the settings of any individual page as well. So you have these pages, you can click around. You can also click these three dots and you have several different options here. We have our basic settings of our page and then we also have the option to rename pages. You can duplicate pages. You can also just copy and paste them and then you can hide them from the menu as well. So maybe I don't want the home uh, page on the menu. Maybe I just want people to click on the logo to go to the home page. So I could click this here to then hide that page from our navigation. And so you can show and hide pages from navigation. You can see that by the little eyeball icon here on the right. And you can always click the three dots and show it again. You can create sub pages or make it a sub page. And then the settings side of uh, your pages includes a lot about your page info. You can go into advanced settings as well. And then there's some layout options. So like you could do a page that has no header or footer and just select that here. You can also adjust permissions like who has access to this page, uh, what kind of search engine optimization are we including with this page or do we want to you know, edit here. Also, how does my page show up in the title, in the tab at the top of a browser? And there's some more advanced uh, SEO options as well as like if someone shares this page, what social media image will show up uh, on different sites like Facebook. And so that's how you can get in there and kind of manage the settings of your pages. And of course, you know, that's managing existing pages, but we can add pages as well. So up here at the top is add page. Down here at the bottom, you can add a menu item. Uh, here to the right, you can add a drop down title, which is an unclickable page where you could just drop down options. So maybe if you wanted, uh, you know, portfolio to maybe not necessarily click and go anywhere, 
but you wanted several drop down options underneath it. This allows you to add simply a drop down menu. I'm going to leave it as the word drop down. And so this is a non clickable element, it's not a link, but I can bring pages underneath this drop down and, and they become clickable elements under the drop down. And so if we go preview this site, you can see here that all of these options are clickable, but the drop down itself is not clickable. I can't click on that thing, but the pages that I put under it are linked to those pages. And so if you wanted an element that wasn't clickable, you could put that in there as well. Let's go back to pages and menu again, uh, and we'll go to site menu, and then we can easily just drag these out if we don't want those like that anymore. And we can remove pages as well just by clicking those three dots and going to delete. And so we've deleted that drop down element, but you can also remove any other page too. And then we can add menu items. And so you can add new pages, dynamic pages, which are sort of linked together with other information. Uh, you can add just straight up links to your menu. This is sort of about the menu, maybe not the pages, but uh, you know, they're almost one and the same here if you're looking to add different sections to your site. Uh, as well as sections and anchors. But if we add a new page, we can actually start with a blank page by clicking this blue button. Or Wix makes it even easier for you to start your page with all these different templates and layouts. And so when you see different Wix templates, they're really all pretty much based on the same options. So you can create any site and design any site in the same way by using these different layouts. And so you might find different templates that have an about page that look like this, or even that look like this. And so there's lots of different options here of how you can start a page. If you have services you provide, maybe you wanna list them. There's different options here of like how to list those services. And you could just start a page with one of these and go in and edit it. So you don't have to build it completely from scratch and I would really recommend that. You know, it's uh, it's a great way to get kind of kickstart something uh, where you don't have to like figure out everything about it. So let's go to services. We're just going to add a page really quick. Uh, I'm going to say maybe this one here. I like this one. This classic services page. You can preview that before you add it, but you can also just add the page in. And so it's adding that services page. And I'm going to keep it as services and hit done. And so now it's in my menu. Of course, I can drag it around, edit the settings. And then I can also see that it's navigated me to it. If it didn't, I can go up to that page navigation and find services and click on it. And then maybe I want to see this zoomed out again. So I click that zoom button. And here's the new page that we added that's also included in our menu. And so this is that services page. And now we can get in there and really just start editing different areas and sections. You can quick edit sections and, uh, you know, just quickly edit the different paragraph information here or whatever's within that section. You can also exit quick, quick edit and maybe zoom back in and just start double clicking and typing in and, and moving objects around. And you can add different sections that have their own layouts too. Uh, but mainly I wanted to show you in this video how you can just manage your pages on your site and understand how to navigate between them and how to get through uh, your site, you know, and be able to edit all the different sections of your site and, and get a good grasp um, of you know what your Wix website looks like and how everything connects together. And that's how you can manage your pages here on Wix.